Day six, lockdown, Pepma. Lovely day for it, beautiful blue sky. I'll give you a look around, see what's going on. Uh, now I can't see, see very well, so turn you right around. This is the beach, we're looking into the sun, so it's not very good. There's the beach, tides out. Still a lot of people here. A lot of people on the beach, a lot of people are walking around. Trying to fill on the day, I suppose. Can't help noticing that a lot of the um, holiday homes that were previously locked up, or all, all closed up, have, have reopened and now occupied by people. Uh, I think I might have mentioned it last week, but or a few days ago, but it's, it's even more now. There's more, this, this part of the, the beach that we walk along anyway is um, quite a few houses. I don't know whether you can see that, there's um, all these houses along here. I mean, they're not all opened up, but that's how close the houses are to the beach. Which begs the question is, what the hell's going on with this not moving business? So, you know, the, the, the message of for people to stay home, it's just not working. Even the police commissioner on TV yesterday said that uh, a colleague or someone who knew was was relocating for their work and they had to travel south down the desert road and you could barely move because of all the camper vans it's just it's just it really is ridiculous i think the majority of people are taking this whole thing seriously but there's a hell of a lot of not who are not um it's not helped by the fact that the numbers of infected people are reducing the last four days in a row now the numbers of new cases have reduced to today it was down to 48 plus another 10 probables that returned false negative tests so it's 58 yesterday was 75 the day before that was 63 the day before that was 85 that it's not going anywhere now, I, I'm not against what we're what's been forced upon us I think it's necessary to control this disease and I think we have to give it a bit longer than six days. But I think after another week, I, there's going to be some sort of general, I don't know, civil unrest or some bloody thing. I don't really know. <laughs> and what's worse is that I think also, and a lot of people must, have, other people must have worked this out as well, that, that the economy is generally heading into a recession. Um, and it'll be a recession like we've never seen before because there's simply no production. No one's doing anything. And you can't just keep running a country on borrowed money, which is what the government's doing, and, you know, the, and they have to, obviously. When this thing's over, we're gonna have to ramp up really quickly. China's doing it, China's done it, I should say. They, um, the evidence coming out of China now is that you look at, on the, on the news or, um, websites and things of, of Shanghai and Beijing, the big cities, it's like nothing ever happened. They were just completely back to normal. The, there's still some restrictions in Wuhan and the, the Hubei province, but even there, uh, while there's still some restrictions, they're getting back to work. Public transport's working, people, there's people on the streets. So given that that's happening there, it, there's gonna be a knock-on effect the, once the rest of the world catches up, which they will do eventually, and suddenly there's just going to be it's like a whole lot of decisions have to be made or <laughs> it's going to be a bit of chaos I reckon. We're going to get back to work but I don't know, it's going to be a whole new world I think. We're going to go to the supermarket today, well Cathy was, she set off at 8 o'clock this morning but didn't get out of the house till about 20 past 8 but got up to the supermarket and the queue was so long it was just a waste of time. So she came home. We thought, oh, maybe later we'll be better, or maybe we should go to a smaller store. So I went, I had to go to the pharmacy today to pick up my medication, and thought, oh, I'll just have a look at the little Foursquare short shop at uh, Papmo East. It's, well, it's, it's, it's like a, it used to be a little short Foursquare shop, and now it's quite a big Foursquare shop. It's, it's like a mini supermarket, but that, it, even that had a huge um, queue of people out the door and down the street. So I thought, oh, I'll go and have a look at the other big supermarkets to see if it's settled down or not. And it hasn't. 
there's just lots and lots of people queuing up trying to get in so that was the end of that we, we don't need anything urgently so we'll wait wait until uh, it's a bit quieter anyway sun's going down another beautiful day here on Papamaya Beach first of April tomorrow so that'll be fun I think going into autumn yeah. I suppose temperatures will get colder but we always have this sort of weather in, in March April it's great really nice fine settled anyway that's all for now uh, as I said keep being kind keep looking after one another keep uh, social distancing keep out of trouble and we'll see you tomorrow Just wanted to say here that the government has decided that um, there's not enough testing going on and there aren't enough test kits out in the community. I know they're rectifying that. They said today that they were getting more test kits and more people trained up and more testing getting done, but that's obviously reflecting in the figures. Um, there's, there's, there's got to be more people out there than, than what they're saying. Also, they increased the national state of emergency for a further seven days, so that obviously means we're expecting worst to come so uh, let's just wait and see um, yeah I, I think the, it's going to get a lot worse before it gets better so all that in front of us